How long have you been in the States? Uh, I've been here 12 years. And what brought you to the States? I wanted to come to grad school, so I came to grad school okay. to so study costume design. I mean, I, I've been costume designer in my country, but I just needed more professional knowledge, I would say. And where did you move to in the States? Then? Where? Right there. I came to Yukon. I came there for grad school. But um, it was interesting because like, I came in February that year for interviews, and I interviewed the daughter like many other schools. Mm -hmm. But my teacher from Yukon was like the most ambitious to get me, even though I didn't speak any English. So she really, really worked hard with, you know, political situation in my country to... What, talk talk about your country, where you're from? I'm from Serbia. What part of Ther Serbia? It's a small country. There yeah. is no part of Serbia. It's just Serbia. It's former Yugoslavia, so we are already part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, mm, I'm born in Chupri, a very small town. Can you talk about a, tradi a Serbian tradition that you really love? It's weddings, like this in the show, yeah. yeah. Like that's what excites me the most when I hear Serbian music and Serbian traditional weddings, seeing this in American stage and I design it, it's really fulfilling. How long are Serbian weddings? Hmm? How long are they? Oh, they're long. They start at 10 a.m. with the brass band coming to your house and people drinking moonshine and they end probably at 4 or 5 a.m. next day. It's the, mo the longest setting, including dancing on the table, everything, you know, it's like amazing. Do you go back for weddings? I went two years ago for my brother's wedding, just for five days. I went just for a wedding. That's great. And it was worthwhile. <laughs> Talk about the food that you serve at weddings. Um, yeah, the thing, my favorite food are appetizers, and they're mm. so particular Serbian. And this is the time of the year where they make this particular appetizer called Iva. And it's red pepper spread. It's red pepper and eggplant and garlic mm. cooked together and made into spread. Mm. So I was sitting here in the audience and thinking, oh, I didn't bring any treats for these guys. And I was thinking, I will send them care package from New York. I will send them Shlivovica and Iva. There's like moonshine and Iva, the red pepper spread. Red pepper spread. And that's great. I think it's like really particularly Serbian. Those two things. <laughs> was this a good show for you to work on? Yeah, it was great. I mean, I really am happy that people in this country appreciate my culture mm -hmm. on this way. So I was really proud of it and good. happy. Good. You had a big influence on on the feeling of the show. Well. I try to explain the tradition and yeah. exciting parts of it, and I wonder sometimes does audience understand some parts, yeah. like in the weddings they throw money in the air and little gypsy kids collect the money, and it's like really a certain tradition, mm -hmm. and they embrace it. So I always wonder, like, hmm, what Americans think about money on the floor? <laughs> you know, because someone collected, that's why they threw their like generous, and they want to share their happiness wow. with other people. So I feel. Yeah, it was translated in this show pretty well. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Great. Thank you.